fun fact, guys, fun fact. Do you know that the majority of Americans, including myself, do not own an American flag? That's why I have to dress in all blue. I don't even have an American flag to wave around. Do you have an American flag? But guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Dominic Richard. I'm back with another video. And today, I would like to tell you what the USA needs to do to qualify for the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia. The USA participated in the inaugural World Cup in 1930. Then they went to Italy in 1934, Brazil 1950, and didn't qualify for the World Cup again until 1990 Italia. Team USA haven't missed the World Cup since and have qualified to the second round four out of seven times. Their best finish since 1990 have been a quarterfinal finish in the 2002 edition in South Korea and Japan. London Donovan is their highest goal scorer with five goals and Clint Dempsey on four. Dempsey will be looking to overtake Donovan in next year's World Cup once the USA qualifies. He has his eyes set on the record. He will become USA's all-time highest goal scorer Currently on 57 goals, tied with London Donovan, of course, once he continues to play. Fun fact, the both times that USA and Portugal were placed in the same group, 2002 and 2014, the US advanced ahead of Portugal. So Portugal will be looking to avoid the USA, which seems to be their bogey team. So Cristiano Ronaldo and company, you guys better be aware of Team USA. The USA are currently third in the CONCACAF World Cup qualifying hexagonal with Mexico on top on 14 points, Costa Rica second with 11 points, USA third on eight points, Panama fourth on seven points, Honduras fifth on five points, and Trinidad and Tobago, the Soka Warriors, sixth on three points. Usually 15, to, uh, usually 15 to 16 points is enough to take one of three automatic qualifying spots. So that means the USA needs seven to eight points from their four remaining games to clinch one of those spots to qualify for the 2018 World Cup in Russia. Their remaining matches are against Costa Rica, Honduras, Panama, and Trinidad and Tobago. So expect four wins or three wins and one draw from those remaining matches. And judging from their recent Gold Cup victory, expect the USA to continue that great form and with an already settled and more settled squad on the Bruce Arena, expect the boys in blue from the United States of America to march right into the World Cup next year. So come in September 1st, September 5th, October 6th, and October 10th. Expect the USA to perform really well and march into the World Cup. I'm expecting a second or third place finish in the hexagonal and the USA to qualify straight to Russia. I said that like three times, right? So guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if the USA will continue their form, their Gold Cup form, their World Cup qualifying form to qualify for Russia. And let me know who do you think will make it to the World Cup squad also because the squad is coming together. It's gelling. Bruce Arena looks like he knows what he's doing. He's been the US coach for a while. You know, he, he had previous stints, so he knows what he's doing, for sure. That's why they went and called him Bruce Arena, because they lost faith in Jürgen Klinsmann, and it was only Arena they can call on, okay? So, with Big Bruce and the U.S. men's soccer team impress us to make it to Russia, or will they falter against the likes of Panama, Honduras, and Costa Rica to flunk and miss out on Russia 2018. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if this is the first time to the channel, please hit that subscribe button 
and click the little bell next to it to know every time I drop a video. Let's get this video to 50 likes, so make sure you smash that like button, guys. And in the comments down below, leave your suggestion for which team you think I should do next. All right, I'll consider it, and I might just surprise you with that video. So, until next time, love you from Dominic Rich, from the USA, of course. Peace out.